Whatever the occasion, settlers tums, settle tums. The way I see it, you have a choice. You can either wait for someone else to say you still look great, or you can do something about it yourself. Because when you know your skin looks good, you don't need anybody else to tell you. Oil of Ule Beauty Fluid makes skin softer and significantly improves the appearance of fine lines in under two weeks. You're looking great for your age. Do you really think so? Love yourself with Oil of Ule. You may think that every motor insurer is the same. Until you need to make a claim. That's when Preferred Direct can help. Our trouble-free one-call claim service takes care of everything. Just one phone call is all you need, then you can leave the rest to us. We'll provide free use of a courtesy car while your own car is being repaired. So you can carry on with life as normal, while we take care of the problem. And when your car is repaired, we'll even deliver it back to your front door. The one call claim service is free to preferred direct customers, and every repair is guaranteed for three years. So before you renew your car insurance, call Preferred Direct on 0800 850 750. You could find that we can offer you a cheaper quote, and you'll get the benefits of a fast and friendly service that's second to none. So call Preferred Direct now on 0800 850 750. That's 0800 850 750. And remember, we're preferred. The year is 1980. The Sinclair C5 is a major mode of transport. This is Moonbase calling Sid. This is Space Intruder Detector. Sid has yet to sell off British gas, and yuppies are working on those stripy shirts. In UFO, Thursdays at 6.30 and Saturdays at 8 on Bravo. Sedation has worn off. It's a pleasant evening. Gentle breeze, scent of cinnamon and sandalwood in the air. I'm glad to hear it. I had to take the precaution, you understand? Uh, basic need for survival, you told me. What changed your mind? You. Huh? I've been hiding, watching this house for the past six hours, waiting for the police to come for me. They never came. Why should they? Don't you understand? I could not take you at face value, risk exposure to myself and others without putting you to the test. Well, you made your point, all right. Oh. Oh, now, now, that will soon wear off. Walk around a bit. Yes, that helps the circulation. Now, we've got some scotch here. Please? Now, what do you want to know? Same thing I wanted to know six hours ago. You could have told me then. I had hoped I'd explain that. Look, you must take me to the fish immediately. Quite impossible. Why? Chin Chin, as your countrymen say. Do they? Look, do you realize that I have to be out of this city by one o'clock tomorrow morning with the fish? I cannot make a move without permission. Then get it! Time's running out! There are complications. I can't complete arrangements until after the dinner hour. If everything is in order, we all meet back here. Oh, no, Doctor, not here. Not you, not me, not anyone. There's a municipal car park at the back of the Abdeen Cinema. We'll all meet there at 11. Not a minute before, not a minute after. At 11. We personalized the campaign in the pictorial coverage. Biographical material? Cut it to the bone. I'm not sure. Statistics is something we all understand. Too many statistics and you have no audience. About your judgment. Now, I wonder if we could have a look at those figures again. There they are. And how is the impulsive Mr. Ryder this evening? Enjoying himself immensely. <laughs> Thank you. You know, uh, Madame Cassin, I find you something of an enigma. Oh, how fascinating. Always so cool, always so possessed, always by your husband's elbow, never intruding beyond it. And yet somehow I feel, I feel that's not the real you. <laughs> you are romanticizing, I'm afraid. I don't think so. But you are. I was a poor student. And my husband was a lecturer of political economics. And when he was appointed director of the commission, he asked me to be his secretary. And the rest is history. Dull history. 
not so dull. Uh, that bullet wound on your arm, for instance. Nothing so romantic. Bullets rarely are. Nadia, my dear. Dr. Zorin is here. Good evening, Madame Cass. Good evening, Doctor. This is Mr. Ryder. Mr. Ryder, pleasure. Doctor. Coffee, Doctor. Forgive me, dear lady, I have not much time. I'm due at the hospital in 15 minutes. Then I will come immediately. Excuse me. It's a sinus infection. It keeps Nadia awake at night. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. God, it's nothing serious. And Zorin is an excellent man. He's a credit to his profession. Mm -hmm. Nothing is too much trouble for him. Uh, Mr. Minister, I have something of importance. I must speak with you. Yes, of course, come out. Will you excuse me, please? Sure. Nothing very important, I expect. Fish. I say, things really went well with Casson, didn't they? Well, you sold him, if that's what you mean. What I mean is, he seems to really like the idea. So exposition was He's a must. Oh, you can't can't you ever be serious? I am sometimes. I like you when you're serious. And I'm afraid you may not like me for much longer. Oh, why not? Because I usually end up a nasty surprise. And just what does that mean? Well, it's just a warning. Do forgive me for leaving you. Daddy, I wonder, is there one more question I would like to ask you? Go ahead. How do you propose to exploit the new cotton irrigation scheme? Well, there's, a, there's an analysis on this page here. That... Do you think the general impression Mr. Ryder, I find you are a fraud. You are not Mr. Ryder at all. It's always going wrong. It's the cost. It's a fish. Do you like it? It's very pretty. Can I help? It's a birthday present. You'll be coming with me. I have no choice. Max! Oh, yeah, a moment, please. The doctor told you the rendezvous. Well, yes. 11 o'clock, you must be there, don't be late. Tomorrow, London. We really must be going. Oh, yes. Thank you both so much. It was a wonderful evening. Sorry. Only work could always be as pleasant. Yeah. Goodbye, dear. Goodbye. Oh, and don't forget, lunch Bye. on Thursday. Of course. Okay. Thank you very much. Good evening, Doctor. Good evening. Ah, so this is the famous surgery. Hardly. What can I do for you? Well, I wanted to ask your advice. You are ill? Ah, no, not that kind of advice. I understand that you are something of a photographic expert. And I wanted to ask you some questions on the aspects. Photographic? Yes. Someone must be joking. No, a friend of yours was telling me that you are a most excellent photographer. And uh, he should know, he is a professional. The uh, friend I am speaking of <laughs> is called Tufik. At last. You're supposed to be a best friend. I have. And now, perhaps, if you wouldn't mind telling me. Not now. I see you back at your hotel. Huh? Hotel? Who are you? you see me right but, here. Not now. I've got things to do. Your I... secretary can wait. Secretary? You send me off on a wild goose chase. Uh, calm down, you'll burst a blood vessel. I demand to know who you are. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Just come outside and we'll settle this right away. Now, see here. I am head of this organization and you're fired. And, and that goes for you too. Just who do you think you are? Max Ryder. Hey, he's insane. You... Uh, hold it. Now, now look here, Max. You can't say that. Just... What do you think you're... Just a minute, sweetheart. It on you. The end of beautiful friendship. And then? And then? I don't know. Do believe me. Dear doctor, you do know. And you must tell me. Who? is the fish. Please. Please. Who is the fish? I don't know. The fish.
Who is that? It's only me. Still working? I thought you were going out. I was. Gamal phoned. He asked me to wait. Oh, nothing important, I hope. He seemed to think so. Here, sit and talk to me while I wait. Oh, let me get you a drink, Abdal. No, my dear, I will ring for Mustafa. No, no, it's no trouble. I will get it myself. I'll be right back. Oh, good evening, Madam Kesson. I hope we are not disturbing you. No, no, of course not. Abdul is on the telephone. He's expecting you. He will be here in a minute. Oh, good. You are going out, Madam? No. In that case, I will take your bag. Thank you. Come in, Dr. Zorin. Oh, there you are, Gammon. You said you would phone. No, sir. I had to come here. Oh, has Dr. Zorin told you all you wish to know? Yes. He told me everything. So now we have the fish on the hook. Yes. That is why I had to come here. your reason for doing this. Surely I deserve some explanation. I took no other wife. I treated you as a Western woman. I was a fool. Come out. I have been humiliated. Tomorrow all the world will know about it. Not necessarily. It cannot be hidden. My wife is a traitor. Only the four of us here know that. How about your men? Who was with you when you questioned the doctor? They will not talk. You can't be sure. But I can, sir. I have already told them what to expect if the story gets out. But Nadia! There will have to be a trial. There could be an accident, of course. An automobile accident. The two are involved. A common enough occurrence. Um, everyone will be sorry for you. But what were they doing this time of night? Oh, he was taking her to hospital. He was in a hurry. Don't tell me anymore. But, sir, you must protect yourself. I leave it to you, Gamal. Madam Captain, Dr. Zoran, you will come with me, please. Your bag is already packed, madame, so it need not detain us. Come on. 